The third game we'll be playing for the Sega Dreamcast is another launch title that I had. I made mention to a trend that was very popular in the 90s due to movies such as Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and, of course, more importantly, Toy Story. There's a big fascination with being small. That is a CG character right there. Holy crap. This is another game that I spent quite a lot of time with, and I just never see anyone talk about it. Even back in the heyday of Let's Plays, I only found a couple people who had done full playthroughs of this game. Man, the, uh, the Toy Story vibes, the We've Got Toy Story at Home vibes are off the charts. Oh, that, that missile laser sound. Oh, who's that guy? Oh my god, Toy? Is it Toy St Nope, it's Toy Commander. Toy Commander! I actually do like this game quite a bit. I guess you could consider it I'm an idiot and left my mouse cursor on the screen that whole time. Um, you could consider it a vehicular combat game, I, I presume? How many? Oh, we've only got, uh, we've only got three letters. Well, we're gonna be... We're gonna be Ika. It's Toy Commander! Let's take a look at our options. We've got controls. Yeah, we've got plane, helicopter, car. That's right. We've got graphics. It's true, we do have graphics. Really? This game featured widescreen support. That's impressive. Sound. Jukebox mode. Oh, even different volume slider for just the music. Wow, ahead of its time. The small soldiers phenomena, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely small soldiers is what I would equate this to. Anyway, let's check out Toy Commander. For an hour. We've got the kitchen and dining room. We've got a training mode. We've got boiling rage. We got to look at our uh, vehicles on the side. We can use. Training. I am Cyclone and I am the boss of the kitchen. Each room in this house has its own boss. If you can beat our records in at least four missions, you'll be tested against us. If you defeat us, we'll become your allies. Then... You can pilot us in the final duel against the Toy Commander. Land the plane on the runway, then use the helicopter to drop two sugar lumps into the cup of hot cocoa. Finally, use the pickup truck to find the chocolate bar. So yeah, check it out. Toy Commander, we're a toy. We're a little plane and uh, We can change our weapons. We can put tacks in the air. We can fire those little missiles. We can also fire a little machine gun. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a vehicle game. But you're small. Look at that. Look at that cat. Look at that. Oh my god, there's a rat. Look at that cat. Anyway, we need to land on the runway. So, what? how, how would you really describe Toy Commander, right? Well, it really is just, uh... It's just, it's just... Vehicle game, but you're small. And I think it's... I think it's fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. The music's also pretty good. No, that's our camera. Oh, that's not what I want to do. There we go, that's how I switch. Now I'm the helicopter. I quite like... how we've got, like, a, a communications tower here. But it's, uh, you know... It's made out of household objects. 
It's cute. It's a very cute game. We gotta pick up two sugar cubes and successfully drop them in this coffee. I don't know how we're about to do that, though. Uh... Oh! Did we miss? We missed. We missed. How could we? How could we? We are fools. We are bad at using our imagination. We are bad at playing with toys. We missed with both of our sugar cubes. H how do I descend here? Okay, up and down is descend. Uh-huh. Little little difficult to control this, yeah. That's okay. We'll just we'll just pick up and try again. Oh, I'm glad I'm doing the tutorial because uh There we go. We did it. Nope, nope. This is not Oh my god, look at that. Look at that Mamma Mia. I love me a nice box of Mamma Mia. Um, can I can I just simply return to my? There we go. Now I press. What button do I press? What button do I press, Toy Commander? Toy Commander, what button do I press? Where where is this truck? Oh no, is that is that a turd? Oh that is a turd in the litter box in Toy Commander. This is just Mr. Mosquito without the fetishes? I mean I can see the similarity, yeah, now that you mention that. How how do I ascend? Right, up and down. The helicopter controls are not really what you would expect. They're a little strange. Uh, I don't really know how to, how to switch vehicles. I'm gonna be honest. I think you need to be, like, near them. Well, I'm almost out of fuel, so I'm going to grab this fuel here. Okay. Okay. We're full on fuel. I remember that being a large part of playing the game is uh, having to maintain your fuel. No, 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 no. Oh, this camera. Oh, these camera options are, are very strange. I, I would very much like to know where this little truck I have to... Well, there's the chocolate bar. Can I just simply... Can we say I found the chocolate bar? Can we? No, I need to I need to use the truck. He needs to use the truck. I wish I wish I knew where it was. I wish this tutorial was a little better at, at telling me where things are. Oh, here it is. There we go. Hey, we did it. We figured out how to be the truck. So I remember liking the cars quite a bit. Uh, because it pretty much the game turns into Twisted Metal at this point. Oh yeah, look at those drifts. Ah. Uh. So the cool thing about the trucks is of course, you know, this game's like simulating being a kid playing around. Who hasn't made their little toy cars drive up the walls? So that's, that's cute. Oh no. 
All right, we've got to somehow... Yeah, ramp it. Oh, yeah, look at that destruction. And, of course, the uh, the fuel has come back, which is nice. Top-tier graphics, you know it. Hey, Dreamcast had Toy Story quality visuals. Speaking of the Dreamcast, look at the uh, look at the range. Look at the burners here. Does it look a little familiar? Now, if I remember correctly... Yes. Look, you can turn on the burner, and it looks like the Dreamcast logo. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that cute? This game is very charming. I, I do have a lot of fond memories of it. Uh, it's a little unwieldy. Just a little bit. But I'm sure it's one of those experiences you get used to. As we take a mere almost eight minutes to complete the tutorial. You can see you can do that in under two minutes if you're not fumbling with the controls. But, you know, a successful training mission. Easy. Yes, but if you wish to fight me in the end, you'll need to beat my record at least four times. Why not start now? We won't start now. We'll just look at what the game has to offer. With boiling rage! You've managed thus far, but you're nothing unless you can cook. Chat, is he cooking? Did he cook? Drop the eggs into the water and don't forget to light the stove. So there will be missions, of course, where we fight against other opponents. There we go. But some of the missions involve doing kind of like little household chore things. And I think that's cute. I think this is a very clever game that, again, shocking to me, boost. Oh my! Oh, that's too much of a boost. It's a little shocking to me that this also is uh, just trapped on the Dreamcast. I feel like if you cleaned up the controls a little bit. Well, there's definitely an audience for this game. Oh, look at this, look at this. That's not quite Minmo, but it is in French. Meow. Oh no, the apples! Can I, uh... Oh! Oh, the apple's on fire. Oh, can we destroy the apple? We can destroy the apple. We ain't eating no plants, yo. Oh no, another boost. Remember the game where you played as the green plastic soldiers? Yes, Army Men! Uh, that's another series I need to... I need to check out at some point. I know some of those are pretty good. I used to play... Uh, I don't remember which one. I remember one of my friends had it. I don't think it was the first one, because the, the first one was kind of jank. Might have been Sarge's Heroes? I don't know. Anyway, we gotta boil some eggs. Oh, look at that. The camera helps us. Ah! It was kind of like Battlefront before Battlefront, yeah. There's just a lot of, like... Again, it's interesting because they were very clearly chasing the, uh the Toy Story trend, but at the same rate, I don't know, I just feel like there's a little more creativity in in this era of video games with stuff like that, because at least then it's like, yeah, you know, they they were chasing the Toy Story trend, sure, but they, they, they there were some pretty cool ideas there. They ended up, you know, being more than just a mere copycat. Now, of course, I'm going to use the plane here. The planes control pretty well. They, they, they control more or less with, like you would expect. And as demonstrated before...
Yeah, there we go. We just gotta wait for those eggs to boil now. We did it. We made some boiled eggs. Hell yeah. So yeah the, the missions in Toy Commander, a lot of different tasks you'll end up doing. Oh, he's got a face under that visor. Congratulations, now it's Cyclone's turn to boil with rage. You aren't serious, I'll only boil if you finish a mission quicker than me. Yeah, so there's time trials and such. We're not going to worry about those nowadays. Rings of Fire, hey, do you like flying through rings in video games? Do you? Do you? Because that's what we're going to do here. Let's see what kind of a pilot you are. If you dare, put on your helmet and dash through these fiery rings. Race to be one of the top three finalists. That's why it's a little difficult for me to uh, say what genre of game this is. The genre is it's a game where you're small. That's the real answer. Because there's racing missions, there's combat missions, there's like uh, weird little objectives and stuff. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, it's Pen Pen Tri Isolon all over again. Oh dear. We're gonna have to loop around. We're certainly not gonna get a top score this time. Yeah, <laughs> not if they give us the boost! Oh. <laughs> oh, I managed to get that one. Okay, okay. Oh. oh, I don't know why I was expecting to be able to blast those. I remember having a lot of difficulty on these particular types of mission. Oh look, they've got a whole little setup for us here. Well, we didn't quite make it. Spiral Raceway is not looking too bad anymore. Yeah, mission failed. Supposed to finish in the first three, not last place. We'll give it one more shot. This is very, very Spyro flying level, isn't it? I'm pretty sure if you could uh, get a top score in these, you just are immediately mailed a pilot's license. You know, the Dreamcast could connect to the internet. That was one of its big selling factors. So, uh, I'm pretty sure, you know, you get a top score in this. You hit the uh, the leaderboard rankings. They just, they just mail you a pilot's license. Oh my goodness, look at that. Second place. I am a professional pilot. Look at that. My goodness. So there you have it. Cyclone could talk as much as he likes, but you still finish this race. And best of all, you're among the top three. Yes, but you're still a long way from beating my record. They really want you to beat the time trials. We're not going to win. It is pretty cool if you manage to do that because, like he said, you do unlock Cyclone to use in the final battle. New room available? Well, let's go check out this new room. Coming soon! It's a children's bedroom. And if this... If you didn't get the Toy Story... Uh, oh my god, we've got another Jonkler. We have got another Jonkler. If... You didn't get the Toy Story connection enough. If it wasn't obvious, the the children's bedrooms really, really drive it home. Uh, but it's hunt and seek. It's almost my time, and I'm feeling fine. This town is surrounded and will soon be mine. Oh, he's he's rhyming. He's a rhyming clown. Oh, no. Oh, no. We live in a household. It's true. We live in a suburb. 
Seek high and low to knock out all of Roly Poly's accomplices. You can't miss them. They're dressed in red, but don't harm any innocent people or you'll return to square one. It's one of those missions. Oh, look at the tumbleweeds. Oh, I remember this. I do remember this one. You gotta go around the town and uh, look for these little non-branded construction block toy. Yeah, there's one. There's one of those filthy reds. You know what we do to these filthy reds, right? Ah! I think that's all you have to do. Yeah, you just have to hit them once. Oh, there, there's another. There's an. I think there's another. Yeah, he's red enough. Um, you don't seem to actually be hitting him. Well, there's one. What is he? Is he too strong? Ah, he was too strong. We needed to use our homing missiles. Oh. I wonder if these are some of the uh, musicians. We're seeing a DJ. We're seeing like a, like a techno mix here. Techno Blast Volume 9. KK. I wonder if this is uh, what we're hearing. The music for this game is pretty good. Yeah, if you take a look around again, this is this is excruciatingly Toy Story. Uh, I guess that's a bad guy. They've they've summoned the help of a cephalopod. Ah! Oh, we're so strong. Smash Brothers was also a Toy Story like. It's true, the original Smash Brothers virtually takes place in the same room as Toy Story. It was weird when that children's show uh, clown toy started ranting about Strode's. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of had to take him off the air after that outburst. Oh, this, this soundtrack's actually pretty kicking. Oh, no! Well, that's fine. Because, look, we found some red Onis here. Oh, I see. My, my machine gun only goes forward. See, that's what that little crosshair tells me. And then my missiles can aim up and down. Okay, okay. I see. Oh, my God. Look at, look at this guy. Can I get, uh, can I get that weird camera? Oh my god, look at him! Ugh, I don't like him. Alright, I'm sure there's bound to be... ...some sort of, uh... ...crazy little guy up here. I have to be very careful, though! <laughs> Lest I, uh, fly off the edge once more. Alright. Who, who awaits us atop this spire? A red car? Is that, is that a bit? Oh, no! Who did it? Oh. Why does it light on fire? Why did that happen? Interesting. Uh, can we just sort of, uh... uh can we build up enough speed to ramp it? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we did that. We did that. 
So who's left here? What what else do we got? Probably someone in the castle. Probably need to destroy the monarchy. Something we all desire to do. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's a there's a man up there. Ah, ha, ha of course. Of course we can we can destroy the uh, the symbol of the oppressor here. Look at that moon in the skylight. <laughs> the controls are a little awkward and finicky. I feel like that's very present, but I'm also very, uh, I'm not really good at controlling vehicle games. Oh. Oh, well, that knight looks like a, a fine citizen, but, uh, this guy... Ah, uh, don't think so. Kids broke out the matches. That'll happen. Where else? Where else do we have to look here? This really is a, a hide-and-seek sort of mission, which, you know, it's cool. Again, a lot of charm in this game. I'm not particularly good at it. It is a little difficult to control. Can I go up here? I can't. Oh, do I just simply have a... They are. They're marked on my, uh, on my map here. I'm only now realizing that. Ah! There's someone here. Oh! Uh, now I'm running out of fuel, and that's a bit of a problem. Oh, we got a little disco jam going on. There's another, right there. Looks like we've only got one more, but where could they be? In the jail, perhaps? <laughs> no, it's just a absolutely tweaking police officer. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh no, but I don't have any missiles or fuel. Oh, I've gotten myself in a predicament. No, I haven't. There's, there's fuel right there. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. We're just doing this at an absolute snail's pace, but I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I feel like if I if I really put in the time to get better at the controls, this would be quite fun to go through. And I am again having fun with this right now. It's just oh boy. I I am not a uh, a vehicular man. We did it. Pretty sneaky, sis. There, diagonally. Yeah, he's not happy with us, we know. Grand Prix. Oh look, there's some army men. Bombs away. Let's let's try the race. Four laps to go and you mustn't go slow. This is a fact that you surely must know. Again, try to finish in the top three. So there's another reason I wanted to do this because I uh I remember there's a texture here. Yeah, there it is. Look who's on that calendar.
I don't know if you saw him. There's a certain uh, blue needle mouse present in this stage. See him? Look at him. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh man, this soundtrack is really good though. Oh man, th this is some chaos. This is some nonsense happening. Oh look! Look, this is- okay. So this is a very French game. Someone's writing, like, a, a French uh, love letter there? I think I saw Jeten. This is your mission. Yeah, you know, the, the Europeanness of this does explain the, uh, the kicking techno soundtrack as well, yes. For an otherwise, uh, you know, and I I'm gonna say it, I like that. Because I feel like if this was an American developed game, they would try to lean too far into the uh, the wholesome aesthetic and, and instead of this like clubbing music we're getting here, um, you'd probably get a little too uh, legally distinct Randy Newman. To go with the legally distinct Toy Story vibe. Oh no! My fuel! Uh oh. This is your mission. This is your mission. Um. I, I didn't see any fuel anywhere. I don't quite know what they expect me to do about that. Because I'm pretty sure if you run out of fuel, it's, uh, it's game over. We've been running on fumes here for a little bit. Maybe you just go slower? It seems as though the AI has also just simply given up. Well, we finished third. We did it. Yep. Pretty good speedster after all. What's so great about being second rate? Contest my time if you're so inclined. Um. <laughs> yes. Oh, I remember Chuckamuck. I remember this one. Meet my pal Chuck. Hills. Sorry. Ahem. Meet my pal Chuck. He's a run amok. Stay out of his way or you'll be fucked. Show no mercy. Get rid of Chuck before he manages to destroy the whole town. Look, it's Godzilla in a bunny suit. This is probably Heli. This feels like just Heli energy right here. Um, so I guess we just simply uh, destroy... We've got some other vehicles here, such as a, uh, a helicopter. So, I remember that there are upgrades you can get. Yes! Yes, now instead of pencil missiles, I've got pen cap missiles. If I pick up more ammo here... I'll have access to that, but be on the lookout for more upgrades.
Uh, I'm not sure if we'll be able to find them. Oh my, Chuck. Chuck here, he's, he's got some opinions. Oh, oh dear. No, 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 we don't want to get hit by that. Okay, well. Uh, I mean, I guess we just keep shooting. Oh no. Oh no, our helicopter got destroyed. Well. And Chuck is, uh, well. Chuck is absolutely on the rampage. I don't know why they went with Chuck for the name, but that is pretty funny. Alright, maybe this is one of those stages where as the, uh, the boss monster destroys more and more, yes. We start to get more upgrades and more, uh, more abilities to fight. Because here we've got a repair unit. There we've got some more fuel, and I saw somewhere amidst this mess. Oh, there it is. Your Honor, it's not Godzilla. We clearly named him Chuck. Ah, uh, yes, we've got these little launching things. Oh, and more missiles. Oh, oh. Ah, let's, uh... Oh, yeah. Feel our fury, Chuck. Ah, look at that! Oh my... Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, we defeated Chuck, everyone! Good job, Chuck. Chuck is gone and the town is saved! It must be a lucky day! Uh, I mean, congratulations on a job well done. I think that said new room unlocked. Yes, hallway and mezzanine. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, look. Vroom Vroom here is a little Tonka truck with some Dracula teeth on the front. That's, that's adorable. Labyrinth. Can't you hold it in? Okay, then. Full steam ahead for the dive into the toilet bowl before you dispose of the sewage find your way through the messy hall the barriers can be opened if you use the three switches to open the gates i remember having difficulty with this one but there is a uh, there is a mission i want to get to hopefully we'll see though we'll see if i'm able to yep there's a switch you going to show me all the switches or just one there's a skateboard There's a horrifying mask there. Okay, they're just taking me on the path. Oh, there's another switch. Oh my goodness, look at this winding road here. And another one over there near the front door. Is that a Playboy Bunny? Insignia on that on that potted plant I saw. That'll open the gate. Then we can get to the bathroom. All right, and we're a, a jamming little sports car here. Uh, 
Oh, and I have no I have no weaponry, it seems. Yep, can't get past that. Okay. Okay, so this is all just drive and, and seek. And I don't think they made this in a way where you can finagle your way through, or did they? Oh, can you cheat? That that was not a Playboy bunny, it was an apple with leaves. No, you can't quite tweet. Tweet! You can't tweet, and you can't cheat. Okay. Well, can I restart? Thank you. Oh. There we go. So I guess it is just following a, a path. I know there was a, a switch along the wall. Somewhere. It doesn't appear to be here, though. Nope. It's a weird little stone idol statue there. Oh! Oh, there are enemy combatants! And us with no way to defend ourselves. You know, I don't think I was supposed to fall there. I'm just gonna say it. I think falling there was a bad thing that I did. Oh no, this tank is out for blood. Ah, oh, we did it. We crossed the treacherous gap. Through the spider webs, under this weird tube. Oh, I, I seem to have again gotten myself the wrong way. Hey, uh, this is a treacherous level. I'll say it. I'll be the first to say it. There's that damn tank again. You know, maybe, maybe we won't do this one. Maybe, 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 maybe we'll, we'll choose a different mission. Agent Green, what a stink. What kind of kid lets their sneakers get so disgusting? Save the farm animals by using the deodorizer on the sneakers. Activate the deodorizer by shooting it, but don't overdo it or it may explode. Hmm. Oh, oh, did you see that green skeleton? That green skull head. That's funny. Oh no, and the little sheepies. So I assume I have to uh, navigate some treacherous pathway behind here. Oh, well, there's some nice power-ups for me. Oh, rats. Hey, look, it's that, uh, Leonardo da Vinci helicopter. All right. This seems a little precarious. This is my mission. Oh, look, we got a... Look at this crazy contraption here. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 don't fall off. Ah, it's one of those. Look, it's a platforming mission in a vehicle game. 
That's just fun, isn't it, devil boy? <laughs> oh, Toy Commander. I see why I played this for hours upon hours. I see why now. It's because they want you to do this very, uh, you know, delicate gameplay with not very delicate controls. And then, and then you have to be extremely good at it if you want to beat the time trials. So you can unlock the, uh, the boss characters. Which I don't think I ever did. I don't think I ever beat this game. Not fully, at least. And you know, I can kind of see why. Look at that creepy face there. Ugh. Is it gonna be like that? This is a game that I feel would benefit from a re-release, uh, like a polished-up port with an alternative control scheme. Oh, look at that! Look at that camera angle, though. Oh, that's lovely. Now I assume I have to push this. Yes. Uh, it landed up there. Okay, alright. This is clever. This is clever. A little bit of, uh, physics puzzling, you know? This is a very interesting game. I, I can't really think of anything quite like it. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh! I can't think of anything quite like this, either. There we go! We're getting it! Now we just gotta get it... ...over here? To the sneakers? Somehow. Oh, the mouse. The mouse just bounced it. This is my mission. Yeah, come on. No, no, no. These, these... These rodents are a bit of a pain. I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say it. Oh, no, no. No, don't. Don't do that. No! Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh dear. Has the uh has the fuel respawned here? The missile certainly did. The fuel is not respawned. You know, I should probably just destroy these little bastards. Yeah. Where are you? Come here. There we go. I don't want to boost. I do not want to boost. Come on. Come on. Destroy it. There we go. Okay. Well, I really didn't want to do that. I hope there's not, like, a uh, distance from creatures uh, makes them respawn mechanic, because that would be very problematic for me. Alright, alright, we just gotta get this over near the sneaker. Come on, no! Yeah, I know we're running out of fuel. Oh, believe me. I've been well aware. I, I have been well aware. Can we just finagle it? Maybe just a little bit? <laughs> Who designs a mission like this? Uh, 
Come on. Come on. Just, just. No. I am, I am running out of fuel. I am, I am, I'm running out of fuel. Can we, can we do it? Can we do it? Can we just push it a little bit more? Yeah. And just kind of rotate it like this and... Oh, 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 we did it. We saved all the little animals. Our controls are vain. Get good. Yeah. We did it, though. We managed. No problemo. So I, I wanted to see. Oh. Let's not worry about that. Well, there is another mission in this room that involves cockroaches coming out of the toilet and you have to destroy them. And they leave behind a little bit of goop. And it's, it's a very disgusting mission. And I wanted to be able to do that, but we're just about out of time. Maybe I'll return to Toy Commander in the future. I think it's a fun game. I think it's very interesting. Nothing quite like it, but that's been our look at Toy Commander for the Sega Dreamcast. Re-release it. Why not? I think it's pretty neat.